All right, you guys, uh, here's a quick look at the ZF001 uh, Cretaceous Advancement Upgrade Kit from Zenith Forge. Oh, there's a picture of the box. Or a picture. <laughs> there's a quick look at the box. Um, and you get all this stuff in it and a picture on the back. Basically, what you're getting here is you're getting uh, a new sword and shield, some uh, attachment pieces, a new head, and a new little uh, I guess stomach cover for Grimlock in alt mode. And uh, just real quick to show you how that works, here is Grimlock in uh, dinosaur mode. And he's always had this big gap here underneath his body where you can see up. It's very hollow. You can stick your finger all the way up into his back um, and, and see all the way up into it. And basically how this works is it just there's a little post right here. And it just pegs into the screw hole right here and covers up that gap. This arm does not like to stay on. Uh, and fills in the, fills in the stomach, so he doesn't look quite as as hollow. It'd be nice if there was a stomach piece that kind of came down a little bit more to make him look a little bellier. But um, but as it is, this is still very nice in that it blocks uh, it hides some of the joints up in there and, and fills in all that hollow space. And one of the things that's nice about it is the gray is it's a slightly different gray, but it actually matches pretty well with uh, the figure itself. And it's molded, it's painted, and it's molded in. Uh, orange plastic you can see uh, here on the back so it's got some 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 light that lets through and it, and it kind of matches some of the parts on Grimlock where he, uh, like on his chest and his Autobot symbol that have that glowing uh, orange showing through or reddish orange showing through so a really nice little piece there and that's all there is on dinosaur mode um, is just this extra extra um, belly plate and then moving on into robot mode Go ahead and get him in here. Now I still have the uh, the workshop Grimlock head on here because I forgot where I put my uh, I left it on after the last review, and I forgot where I put my my uh, original. Uh, it's in the house somewhere. I just couldn't find it for the review. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pop that off. And just as a quick comparison, here's a difference between the two heads. Uh, the Cretaceous Advancement is a little bit more. It's a little longer. Uh, it's a little bigger. Uh, especially from bottom to top, uh, maybe not quite as wide. Uh, and looks a little bit more uh, G1 cartoon-esque. It's a really nice head. Um, now it does have, it does come apart into two pieces. Uh, it has two screw holes in the back of it. You can use the screws from your original head uh, in there. So you unscrew the original head, pop it off, use the screws, and use this to hold this on. Um, again, since I'm missing the original head, I'm not only really missing, I just don't know where I put it, which I guess is missing. Um, you, you, uh, I was using friction to hold it on, and it actually holds on pretty well with just friction. Uh, but uh, if you want it to stay on, and you don't want to risk having it pop off and lose it, you do want to take those screws from your original head and put them into the back of here when you attach it. We'll just go ahead and pop it on like this. And you can see it, look, it looks really nice on the body. Let's see if we can get up here, get a better shot of it. Um... Yeah, no light piping to speak of. It, it although it does have that clear red visor, it doesn't light pipe at all. But uh, it's a pretty sharp looking head, and it looks good on the uh, Fall of Cybertron Grimlock body. And again, it just goes on the ball joint, so it still retains all the motion that the original had. Now the sword and the shield, uh, you can see it look very similar to the sword and shield that originally came with him, except uh, much larger. See, here's the, uh, here's the shield that came with him. Here's the one from Zenith Forge and the sword as well. And again, the sword on, I think you see it's a little bit longer. The, the gray, this, this metallic, uh, metallic black is a, a little bit shinier, a little bit lighter. Um, it does come down to a point here versus the uh, little zigzag bit on this sword. So it's a little longer. Um, it's not quite as thick at certain points. So, you know, again, that's, that's uh, more just, you know, choking hazard stuff that Hasbro has to play. Um, slightly flexible, you do, I wouldn't bend it too much, but it, it has a little bend, so you're not, you're not going to, if you just smack it against something, it's not, it's not the brittle clear plastic it will hold up. Um, it does have a little bit of a bend to it. And it does fit, you don't have to push it or force it, it does hold nicely in his hand. And then you get a look of that versus, versus that. Um, now the shield, and this is what I like about the shield, ver uh, instead of just having simply the peg on the back, it has uh, it actually has a peg hole, and then you've got two pieces. You've got a simple straight piece that you can put in the peg hole and use it to peg onto his arm, just like the original shield. 
or, uh, and that can push in, there, there it is, it all completely pegged in, it pegs in close up to the arm. Or you can pop that off and get this peg out of here. Sorry, I took a little, had to get some pliers to pop that peg out. Um, and then there's a L-shaped piece, or an angled piece, that can go in like that. Actually, is it going like that? I guess it doesn't really matter which way it goes in. Um, and then you can have him hold it in his hand like a shield like that. So it sits a little lower down and, and it functions more, you know, you can rotate it around the front. It gives you a little bit more versatility in how he holds that shield. So yeah, and, and that's all there is to the set. It's a, it's, it's a little set. Um, it's very cool. The whole set is twenty nine ninety five at TF Source. Uh, it looks like it's out of stock right now, but there should be more coming, I believe. But yeah, there it is, the uh, Zenith Forge ZF001 Cretaceous Advancement Upgrade Set for Fall of Cybertron Grimlock. And again, there's that stomach plate.